$7.6 billion worth of shorts are about to get liquidated. I'm going to get into that. Plus, we have Goldman Sachs entering the ring. I actually cannot believe I'm even saying that. But So let's go over to our first tweet. Eric Balchunas. Balchunas. Sorry, buddy, if I totally butchered your name. But he says the vast majority of the 40% gains in Bitcoin since the ETF have been actually after hours. That's where most of the gains of the 40% of the gains that we've made so far have been taken or have taken place. It's really interesting. I want to know what you guys think, why this is. All right. So we have $7.6 billion worth of Bitcoin shorts will get liquidated if the if Bitcoin price pumps around 10 to 11 percent, uh, that is pretty massive. Can you imagine what the price is going to do? That's going to be absolutely beautiful if that happens, because, I mean, uh, say, for instance, we go to seventy thousand dollars or seven point six billion dollars of shorts getting liquidated at that point. That means all of those people that were betting the price is going to go down have to buy in the open market. Impressive. It's I, I love it when shorts get absolutely obliterated because it's so fun and they're gamblers. So whatever. We don't need really gamblers in this space. We need people that are long long term holders. That is a healthy market right there. All right. We also have I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. This is from Bitcoin Archive. I think it needs to be implanted in your head of how fast we can go up from here. It's been 500 days since Bitcoin has hit the bear market bottom. Uh, in 2020, Bitcoin went up 732% over the next 12 months from the same point. Uh, if Bitcoin repeats this, it will hit $491,000 by April of next year. Now, I hope he's right. I really do. I hope I'm dead wrong because I think that we're going to top this year. But you know what? If you want to see what I'm saying on Twitter, I would rec recommend you checking out uh, at Sir Crypto Tips. Uh, the link is down be below for that. So moving on, we have about $200 million per uh, business day from these ETFs that are buying. Uh, this is going to be, I think right now it's the 60th uh, trading day so far for these ETFs. And we've been pretty much, I mean, the amount of coins that are available right now for Bitcoin are really dwindling. I'm going to get into even more of that from a really good tweet coming up. But first, I want to go over the economy. I know I'm jumping all around, but I want to want to cover this because you all know that I don't really care what the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell says. I don't even waste my time listening to him because whatever he says or whatever, but anybody, I mean, people go on like Twitter spaces and spend hours talking about this bull crap. It's all bull crap because I'm going to, I'm going to prove it to you right now. It doesn't matter because they're going to be printing more currency than ever before. It doesn't matter if they're raising interest rates. It doesn't matter about anything. I mean, interest rates, people give me a hard time. Like, Hey, you know what? This is bad. They're going to raise interest rates. Well, you know what? They were raising interest rates from $15,500 to over $30,000. So I don't care. But Seven Hendricks on um, on Twitter says, what does it take to keep everything afloat? This is what it takes. Here's this chart right now. This just shows how much they are going to be printing and it's never going to stop in your entire lifetime. And it's not only not going to stop, but it's going to increase every single year. You've seen nothing yet. And guess what loves? Inflation. Bitcoin. Bitcoin really loves inflation. All right. And you're going to start loving inflation too when your Bitcoin goes up because of inflation. Uh, next up, we have Mike Alfred. This is really brilliant what he says. Um, I have been in contacted by several large banks to buy Bitcoin directly from my personal treasury. The supply sh um, shock is real. So, so you may think, oh, he's just joking, right? Well, uh, this guy, here's like a tweet thread, whatever. 
Most of the time, I can't tell if you're joking or not. This is from some other guy telling, uh, asking Mike, are you for real? And he says, the supply shock is not a joke. It will turn to a crisis shortly. And I tend to agree with him uh, because, you know, at all these large institutions, they're not going to be getting rid of their Bitcoin. They're going to be keeping those Bitcoin probably forever because they want control. And this is how to gain control. Um, this is why they buy Bitcoin in the first place. And they give a derivative of Bitcoin to everyone else. The ETF, the spot Bitcoin ETF is not real Bitcoin. BlackRock has real Bitcoin. And guess who else is going to get real Bitcoin? And guess who else is about to get real Bitcoin or have been buying, but it's finally coming to light. Goldman Sachs, Citadel, Citigroup, and UBS added as authorized participants for BlackRock Spot Bitcoin ETF. <laughs> told you, I told you, once BlackRock gets in, all their friends are gonna be cramming into this space and it's not going to stop. And you know what? If you want to see what my thoughts are on a daily basis other than Twitter, I uh, just definitely uh, suggest you checking out learningcrypto.com. And that is where I give my trade alerts. I give you market updates of what is actually happening in the space. Been in this been in this space for over 10 years, over a decade now. And the AI coins that I think are going to blow the roof off. Um, you've seen nothing yet when it comes to AI, especially when Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, he's trying to raise $7 trillion for his AI projects. Man, we are so on the precipice of a crazy explosion in this space. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.